Hi everyone. All right, so it's been a while since I've posted. I do have a lot of stuff that I have to film. So this is gonna be a part one. So this is all about the library book sale that happened last week um, here in my hometown. Um, it's been two years since they've had one, obviously because of COVID. So they had a lot more books <laughs> to sell. Well, because they've accumulated two years worth of books. So um, they did some changes, which I didn't like. First of all, the hours to shop were a lot shorter, which didn't make any sense considering that they had more books to sell. So, um, and then they also changed the prices. So before, when they had these library book sales, you would, um, basically, you would pay, I believe it was, was it always $8? I don't remember it being $8. I remember it being um, $5, and you would get a brown paper bag, you know, like the regular size one from the grocery store, and you could fill it up. As long as the bag, um, you didn't top off the bag, you could fill up with as many books as you could. Um, so it's five dollars $5 a bag and that was it, right? Well, this year they've changed it so it's eight dollars a brown paper bag and then they had a smaller bag which was five bucks and the smaller bag was basically the bag that they would use at the library to put your books in when you had a lot, you know, that you checked out. Um, because of the size of that smaller bag it would be better suited for like you know, smaller paperbacks. So I obviously had to go for the $8 bag, which I didn't mind because I mostly got hardback books. So I got there on the preview day. So it's Friends of the Library Day, which was on Wednesday. And if you were a member, which uh, membership is 10 bucks for the entire year, then um, you got to go and shop. Um, so me and my sister um, went, she brought her kids, so that way it would be easier, you know, she, they get to pick out their books. So um, the doors opened at 4.30, so I actually left work early to get there, because the one thing that goes the fa you know, fast is the vintage children's books. And so um, as soon as I got inside, there were already at least about three women that were already going through all of the, you know, the books. And so I just started grabbing whatever, titles or just the the way the book looked I started grabbing and just throwing them in my bag because I could always edit you know go through them again and put back what I didn't want so <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the children's vintage books that I bought um, for this sh this book sale uh, so let's go ahead and get started so first book I'm going to show here is a classic the Bob C twins I've never I never did read this when I was young but I'd always heard about this book or rather this series okay so it's a it's already got some um tear here let me actually get uh further out there we go um but i liked the illustrations on the inside and this was published in 1950 and i just like the way the paper for one it's a thicker paper you know and um yeah it looks you know it's it's aged really well now I'll probably read this before I start tearing it up <laughs> for collage work. Um, but yeah, so I grabbed that one. I actually grabbed this one on the sec was it the second day that I went back, okay? Um, we have Grimm's Fairy Tales here, which I did grab on the first day. So let me show you the spine. So looks like this. And let's see the year. Hmm. Doesn't show a year. It just is printed in the U.S. All right. It's got to be somewhere. Yeah. It doesn't say. <coughs> but this is pretty old. I mean, you can tell. This one I also bought to tear up. I don't plan on reading this. Um, some of these books that I'm going to tear up, I'm going to give some of the, I'm going to probably give like half the pages to my friend Clarissa over at Karamia's Corner. <coughs> Excuse me. Since she does make um, junk journals, she can definitely put these to use. Okay, so the next book we have here is Anderson's Fairy Tales. Now, I liked the cover of this, okay? Look at that inside. This one, I'm kind of on the fence. I might just keep it. Um, I don't 
you know, it's just, it's kind of too nice to, to, um, to cut up. This one, <laughs> I was talking to Clarissa about this. I need to go back to learning, um, to remembering what my Roman numerals were. Um, let's see if I can pull this up closer so you can see it's right here. <laughs> so this one, you know, it has illustration, illustrations in color. So yeah, I might just go ahead and just keep this one. I don't think I've ever read Anderson's fairy tales before, so I might read those. Next one we have here, and obviously this is very old, is here and there. Okay. So this comes, I believe, oh, take care and repair. That's interesting. American Book Company. This was from 1938. What caught my eye with this one is that it says copyright 1938 American Book Company, but then copyright Philippine Islands 1938. And I just thought that's interesting. Why does it have Philippine Islands? That's really neat. This I will probably keep because I love the illustrations. And um, some are in color and some aren't. So I'll probably read this one, but I just like it. I just like the way it looks. So we got another one here. The New Times and Places. It's a, the new basic readers. Okay. So this one, it says 1954. Okay, so there's a lot of different stories. I'll probably read this. Uh, I don't know. I might use it for junk journals or rather collage work. Give half to Clarissa. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. So there's that. Now, when I was grabbing these books, you know, obviously these women were trying to be kind of like, you know, kind of space out, like make themselves larger so that they can kind of like occupy one whole section of the children's um, vintage books. But I was just, you know, I've, I've got a technique when, especially from the Tuesday morning days, when, you know, you go in there, when they've just put everything out and you kind of like, you know, you kind of stake your place to try to like see what, what they have and grab what you can. So that's what I did. So that's why I was able to grab, because I noticed that some of the women were looking at me like, wow, she's getting a lot of books, but you know what? I don't care. I got what I got. Okay, so the next one is Lady Green Satin and her maid Rosette. So this one's pretty old, very old. This looks like this book is from Macon, Georgia. It's already falling apart, as you can see. So this is 1923. So I believe I can scan these images if I wanted to, or I mean the book itself, if I wanted to. And um, I guess sell the images online because it's no longer, it's before 1930. I think that's what Clarissa told me. So yeah, this one's really nice. Has that old book smell. Next one we have here is Beyond Treasure Valley. Obviously another um, school book. I would imagine that these were probably like maybe second or third grade. No, probably third and fourth grade. This is 1963. It's another American book company. And I like the illustrations in this one. Yeah, this is definitely a school book because look at that. Study pages and stuff. It's really nice. Okay. I hope this is going to hold. Actually, I probably should move it. <clears throat> that section of the table is not an actual part of the table. Okay. I'm like, where am I going to put all these books? All right. So next one here is learning about our neighbors. Okay. It's obviously another school book. Yeah. Property of Memphis City Schools. I live in Memphis. Um, or rather, I live in one of the suburbs of Memphis. This one's in really good condition. 1962. I mean, it's pretty good condition, you know, for a school book from the 60s. So it's got a lot of really nice um, illustrations. I might keep it. And you can tell it's from the 60s, you know. So, yeah. <clears throat> then we have another one here. Another Grimm's Fairy Tales. So the cover is really nice, but look at that on the inside. And this is in pretty good condition. You can tell that some of these books were just sitting on the shelf. 
um, I was like telling Cl Clarissa how I felt like a lot of these books probably were sitting on a shelf and then family died and I was thinking maybe some of this family passed because of COVID, you know? And because, like I said, they had a lot of books. Um, this is in much, much better condition than the other one. Yeah. All right, so this one right here, much older book, Childcraft, Life in Many Lands. I do believe that we have um, Childcraft books downstairs from the 80s. This one was Tipton Academy. I wonder where, which Tipton, Tipton. Okay, so this is from copyright 1949. So, yeah, this is kind of like one of the books that I grew up with. Stories from all over. So I will probably read this. This is really interesting. And I'm not sure if I'm going to tear that one up. <clears throat> And then we've got, I'm going to save that one for last. We've got this one right here. I picked it because of the cover because it looked really nice. A Child's Garden of Verses. I think I got this one on the second day that I went. Really pretty illustrations here. Okay. Robert Louis Stevenson. Isn't he the one that wrote Treasure Island? I could have sworn that. Okay, so this was from 1944. <clears throat> so, yeah. Really nice illustrations. And then the last one right here, there is still more books after this, okay, but the last from the stack. This is Black Beauty. And I grabbed it and the lady who was standing next to me saw it and I could just kind of feel like her, you know, demeanor was like, damn it. I didn't, you know, she like didn't see it and I was able to get it before her. So, John C. Okay. I read Black Beauty a long time ago. This is from 1945 and it has illustrations. I always felt like Black Beauty was a sad book because of the, all of the, you know, all of the different owners that Black Beauty had. So, kind of like Bambi, if you've never read the original Bambi book, nothing like Disney Bambi. It's a lot more violent and sad. Okay, so let me go ahead and put the last stack of books. These are so heavy. I grabbed these on the first day, which is what made my bag so heavy. I ended up getting two bags of books, um, paper bags of books on the first day that I went. I went on the second day, which was Saturday. By Saturday, that was the last day. And um, if you got a paper bag, it was just five bucks. Um, and then I think the small bag was three bucks. So um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that these would not have been there had I left them on the first day. So these are Collier's Junior Classics. Um, yeah, so they're numbered actually. Hold on here. I probably have them out of order. So let's get them in order first. So I don't think I got all of the books because I was just kind of like, eh, I don't really care for some of the title, um, some of the subjects, I guess you could say. So yeah, as you can see here, this is number one. I didn't get three, four, and seven. I don't remember if there was more after that. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with number one. This is ABC Go. And as you can see, a whole bunch of different stories. And really cute illustrations. Okay, so that's number one. <clears throat> number two is Once Upon a Time. So these are probably like fairy tales. Yep. The History of Tom Thumb, The Three Sillies, from different, um, it shows you where the stories originate from, like that's Germany, Hansel and Gretel, I'm not sure where, 
Um, the fisherman and his wife, the goose girl, let's see, Germany. Yeah, they don't have as much illustrations, but I wanted to read those in your own backyard. Oops. So let's just set this down. Hold on. And I'll do it that way. Okay. So these are probably stories from, yeah, the U.S. This one right here automatically I can tell from the illustrations. This is from Little House in Big Woods. No, Little House in the Prairie because it's the Wolf Pack um, chapter. Um, well, so I'll definitely read these. Um, we have this one here, Harvest of Holidays. So these are probably holiday, yeah. Poems, stories, Arbor Day, Easter, April Fools, Father's Day, Columbus Day. Uh, I should have left this one. <laughs> That's okay. I can always just redonate it back. Okay, this one is Roads to Greatness. Um, so these are probably. Oh, this is Tom Sawyer, Fighter Without a Sword. I don't think I've heard of this, that particular one. Growing Pains, The Great Adventure, Dreams of Freedom. Uh, maybe I should have donated this one back. <laughs> this one is Call of Adventure. So these are probably adventure stories. Yeah. Maybe I'll donate that back. I mean, I'm, it's not like I'm losing money because, like I said, I only paid eight bucks for the whole bag. So I can't even remember how many books I had in that bag. There was a ton. I mean, these could have, like, ended up being 25 cents maybe out of all of the books that I, I purchased. This one's got Gulliver's Travel. These are more classics. Okay, so this one I probably will keep. So, yeah. Those are all the books that I purchased um, from the vintage children's section um, at the library sale. So <clears throat> if you're into, um, you know, doing collage work or junk journals and you want like, you know, vintage stuff, check out your local library. Just type in your library, your town, and then library and, you know, just look up library sale and see. Because a lot of libraries, you know, they take donations and, I mean, they don't have the storage, you know, to keep all this stuff. So they'll always, um, they usually will have a sale. Um, some libraries will do like the bag sale, like mine did, but then bigger libraries, um, will sell the books individually. So this week, um, the actual, like the main library here in Shelby County in Memphis is going to have their library sale and they don't do the bag sale. Uh, they only do it on the very last day. That's just so they can get rid of a lot of books, but the very first and second day, they, um, you know, actually the, the first three days, they'll sell the books by um, individual price. So the way it works is I believe the paperbacks are 25 cents, I want to say, and then hardbacks, depending on the size, will be either a dollar or more. I'm not sure. And I know like larger books are two bucks, like everything is under two buck, two bucks and under. So um, and see, they get all the books from the county. So uh, all the donated books that is. So it's, it's a much, much bigger sale. Um, the thing that I, I, I was amazed was that the amount of people that were buying books, like, especially in the cookbook section, holy crap. Like I was just going through them, just looking for like, you know, old looking ones. And this guy walked up with a cart um, and he just started, he just started just grabbing books. He wasn't even looking at them. He just started grabbing them, putting them on his cart. And at first I was kind of like, what the hell? You know, but then he immediately went, after he filled up the cart, he went to the register and just paid for them. And I realized that this guy was probably a reseller, you know? So like maybe selling them on Etsy or on eBay, who knows? But a lot of like, people like resellers will go to these, you know, library sales and just buy up books to sell. So, I mean, I, I could just, you know, sell some of these books if I wanted to, if I really wanted to, I just don't have the time. But, um, yeah, I encourage you to check out, 
your library sales because one money goes all towards the library you know to help them purchase more books brand new books so and two it's a way for them to also purge extra books that they have because i've been able to buy some um books some other books that were like you know they just had extras and they're hard copy and some of them were in really good condition and i was able to get them in the bag sale or maybe like i got them for like a buck you know and um i wouldn't have to go and order on amazon you know for some of my favorite my old like the older books you know in hardback so yeah check out your library sale so coming up will be another um library sale book haul um it'll probably be like the foreign language and like reference books okay or hobby books so um i'll hopefully be able to film that uh tomorrow okay all right so i hope you enjoyed this uh children's vintage haul book haul and i will see you again bye mm -hmm.